I'm Delia. I started Subvert in order to transform the way that we talk about art and art collecting and make it accessible to people. Today I want to take you on a tour of a home art collection in the Five Points neighborhood of Denver with the owners Alex and Austin. I hope you enjoy. I'm one of Delia's customers. Um, just wanted to share a little bit about some of the important pieces that are in my home. So behind me, you'll see an abstract painting. I won't give it away right away in case you can't quite see it. But yes, you're right, it's an elephant. I actually got this piece when I was in Uganda. I used to work as a humanitarian aid worker and came into Kampala for a weekend. And was, there was a big art fair. And I saw this and just like had to have it. I think there's something about the way, like the colors just spoke to me. And I really love that it's this abstract, I don't know, it kind of like um, when you realize it's an elephant, like I think the first thing that I saw were the tusks. Like the first thing when you start to see it, it just like emerges out of the painting at you, which I just think is really special. I feel like every time I look at it, I'm just like brought back to vibrant colors and busy marketplaces and it just feels like a special memory for me Have you ever bought international art internationally before i always do actually <laughs> so i used as i said i used to travel a lot for work as an aid worker and pretty much everywhere i went i got pieces um it's hard because you know i've expressed to delia before in our in our like chats that i find a lot of imposter syndrome with buying art and i don't really know like what is good art so I think a lot of the stuff that I used to buy when I traveled was just like anything that gave me a feeling of like what this place meant to me at that time. Um, and when I was in Uganda, I also did some safaris during like different holidays and stuff. And I don't know, this one just always felt really good. It's by a guy named Godfrey Kalungi. And I've also been on his um, email listserv and every once in a while he sends out new paintings of his and um, it's just kind of nice, like nice to follow him. I also bought a giraffe from him for a friend's wedding and it makes me feel really great that they have a piece of that part of my life in their home too. Do elephants hold any meaning for you? Not particularly, no. I mean, they do for like African safari, like it's one of the big animals that you aim to see when you do take a safari. And of course, elephants are majestic creatures, but not anything like personal. <laughs> the next piece I want to show you is actually uh, what are called Inigango paintings um, from Rwanda. So uh, I was working in a refugee camp. Uh, it is like South Sudanese refugees in Rwanda. And I stayed there for a very long time working with my colleagues. And as a parting gift, they gave me these two pieces, which actually means so much because this is like one of the only traditional Rwandan pieces, like Rwandan art styles that they like really recognize nationally. Mm -hmm. Um, and it almost died out after the 94 genocide and has now been like really revived as like this really important art that the um, Rwandan people celebrate. So actually it's made out of cow dung, clay and ash. The idea is that the like ash from a fire would like kill any bacteria in the cow dung and then they spread it over the palette or like whatever they're going to put the art on, like, so it could be like a, a wall on the side of a hut, for example, and then using their fingers, make the design and it like makes the imprints. So you can actually like, it's textured. So if you get like a good close up, you can kind of see the ridges of the art mm -hmm. there. Um, and then they paint it with like really traditional colors that come from the land. And there's usually no more than four colors in one painting. That's like the traditional way to do it. Um, and it should like really represent all these like cultural and spiritual, like almost like magic shamany um, energy type. 
components of the Rwandan culture that's really important to them. So I just really love these pieces because they came from people that um, I really bonded with and cared a lot for. This piece I am really excited to tell you about because it's my, from my dad. My dad and my mom are really, really talented people. But recently my dad decided to take up painting, which he hadn't done before. He did other art, like um, some of the stained glass. You can actually like, see it around the house. I was visiting him uh, in Seattle and you know when you dip a paintbrush into color and then you kind of like dab the extra off to the side and then you would paint your actual painting. Well, this is just like the dabbing that he'd done from like all of his other paintings. And I just thought it was like such a cool, I don't know, I just caught like smooshy, like that, that's what it looks like to me, like smooshes of a paintbrush. Um, but it's kind of neat to like think of my dad sitting there for however many hours and like in his creative space and just like a little piece of all the paintings that he's made. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this general nook over here. I'm gonna start with the painting. This um, was found with the help of Delia and Subvert Art Consulting. Um, my husband and I have very different tastes in art, it turns out, and she helped us find a piece that we both really enjoyed. This is called Minerva. Um, it's acrylic with Atlantic ocean water, and it's like a air gun and fire all mixed together to create this like really whimsical, painting and it's really neat. I think it looks like space. Like one of my favorite areas is in the dark up right hand corner. Um, my husband really likes like the way this part looks like water. So it's kind of neat that we got to pick something out together. Going back to kind of my travels and picking things out where I'm working, I was working in Mindanao Island in the Philippines and um, wanted to get a piece that represented their like traditional art called capis where they decorate with oyster shells. Um, this stool has these little tiny pieces of, of like really um, iridescent like uh, oyster shell pieces and this like really beautiful dark wood and it was really funny getting it honked so it's quite big. Thank you for watching that. If you were inspired by any part of that, I would love if you left a comment and shared your thoughts with me. If you think that art is more expensive than you can afford or it feels overwhelming to you to begin a collection or expand what you have, just a reminder that I have a free consultation. I can give you a rundown on different services and directions that you can go in at pretty much any budget. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos.